All right, moving on, let's try to squeeze this story before break. Nicole Brown Simpson's sister did not take kindly to Kim Kardashian's monologue on her Saturday Night Live hosting debut, particularly her joke about OJ Simpson. Now on SNL, Kim said OJ was the first black person she ever met. She also jokingly questioned Simpson's acquittal saying, I know it's sort of weird to remember the first black person you met, but OJ does leave a mark or several or none at all. I still don't know. Nicole Brown's sister, Tanya, said the remarks were beyond inappropriate and insensitive and said she's curious as to how much the Kardashian family really cared about Nicole. Now, was Kim's joke in poor taste or is Nicole's sister overreacting? So number one, Kim Kardashian didn't write that joke. She doesn't have the mental aptitude to write something that clever and witty. She showed up and read a teleprompter written by writers in the back. That's number one. Number two, uh, sometimes the feelings of the few have to get sacrificed for the laughs of the many. It's very dark humor, right? Of course, somebody connected to Nicole Brown Simpson is not going to find it funny. But if you're just a random person and Nicole and OJ is a blip in history, you just might find it funny, as I'm sure a lot of people did. At this point, anything said about Nicole Brown Simpson in relation to OJ is going to be offensive to her family. Of course, it's her sister. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the rest of society has to walk around on eggshells to protect your feelings. It's cold, it's callous, it sucks, but it's the world that we live in. So mama, she just gonna have to get into it or not. And also that's Kim K's reality. That's her story. That's her story. She has her story and the Browns have their story. She, she, she toyed with it on her SNL because she knew exactly what needed to be played with as far as the producers to get the ratings and keep the ratings. And from what I understand, the ratings were up 25%. So it works. It's still her story and she has the right to speak on it. That's amazing. I don't recall Nicole Brown's uh, sister really complaining about OJ Simpson when uh, her sister was alive and he was whooping her ass. Not till she was dead. Then all of a sudden, all these horror stories come out. And my thing is this, you know, I get being offended, and she should. That's her sister. Yeah. We can't tell her when to get over it, right? Mm -hmm. But I find when the money's flowing and things are happening that you're okay with, like, I, I don't remember really there being this big outcry when, when, when you know. No, because she was been taken care of. That's, that's the way it right. goes. The same way Whitney Houston, the whole family, sat back and knew she had a problem and didn't have her committed to no doggone drug place. And not to say your feelings are valid, but you know what? It would be nice if you make those those very real feelings valid when the person's still alive and you can actually do something about it because now it kind of feels empty. And again, Me Too-ish, bandwagon-ish. Oh, I'd like to add to that. Nah, you were quiet when your sister was getting her ass beaded. You probably could have prevented some of this, but all right. We're going to be mad at Kim K. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with more. Hey, hold, on. Hey, hold on. Where are we with the numbers? That was how so many, how many viewers I, will we have? Like, I will tell you during the break, Al. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 